Okay, um, today I'm going to talk to you about um, solving equations where you have a variable on both sides. So, so far we've just mostly had something like this where we have an x uh, variable um, plus some number equaling some number. Or we'd have um, some distributive property happening and then some number. But we've never had a variable on here, on this side of the equation, and on this side of the equation. So that's what um, this video is going to talk about first, and then I'm going to do some more examples um, regarding the sheets I give you. So one thing to understand when you have variables on both sides, there's three possible solutions. The first is you actually get a value for x that makes this equation true. So you have the variable ending up with a variable equals some value. And this is what we've been used to where you have at the end of the solving the equation you have x equals 7 or x equals some number. So that's one possibility. The second possibility is that when you have variables on both sides one possibility is that you can put any number for x and it would make the equation true. And um, so in that sense all real numbers can be put in the value for x and the, and the equation would be true. You'll recognize this when if you have um, after you solve your equation, you'll end up with something like this. You'll have some number equaling itself. When you see some number equaling itself, then um, all real numbers is the solution for this equation. And finally, the last is there's no solution, which means that there is no value for x that would make this equation true. And you'll see that when at the end of solving the equation, you'll have some number equaling some other number. So when you see that um, at the end of the equation, some number equaling some other number, then you'll know there's no solution, meaning there is no value or number I can put here for x that would make the equation true. So the first thing we'll do is we'll solve this equation right here. And one thing to know um, in solving uh, equations with variables on both sides is first, if you have a distributive property or you have terms that are alike on either side of the equation you would distribute and combine terms on both sides of the equation so that it comes out looking kind of like this. Um, and once you have it in this form you can then go ahead and uh, solve for x. So uh, the first step in doing that is uh, checking the the x variable on both sides of the equations. Here I have a 7x and here I have a 5x. And what I do, generally, is I take the smaller number, which is 5 here, and I'll subtract 5x from both sides. That's going to be your first step. Normally, we're never, ever subtracting x um, like this. Usually, we're adding, subtracting 2 or 6. But when you have variables on both sides, we have to uh, simplify that and get it on one side. So when I subtract 5, um, 5x here, I get a 0. Um, I still have a 6 here on this side of the equation. Let's bring that down. Equaling 6. Here's my line. Let's say I put that here. And then on this side, I have 7x minus 5x, which will equal 2x. And I just bring down this plus 2. Okay. So now this is what my equation looks like. Again, what I did was subtracted 5x. I took the smaller value and subtracted that from both sides. And then um, 7x minus 5x is 2x. Everything else just came down. Now I could have also, I could have uh, done something different where I subtracted 7x from both sides. That would be valid also. The reason I don't do that is if I have 5x minus 7x, I'd end up here with a negative 2x. And I'm trying to avoid uh, negatives as much as possible. Okay, and now the equation is something you're familiar with. I have a plus 2 here. I want to do the inverse operation. So I subtract 2 from both sides. This becomes 0, and I bring down 2x equals 6 minus 2 is 4. And then I divide. This is being multiplied by 2. The variable is being multiplied by 2. The inverse operation is division, so I divide 2. And 2 over 2 is 1. 1 times x is x equals 2. And that's my answer. x equals 2. 
And if I go back and put the value of 2 here in my original equation, 7 times 2 is 14, plus 2 is 16. And on this side, 5 times 2 is 10. I'm sorry, let me say that again. 7 times 2 is 14, plus 2 is 16. And on this side of the equation, 5 times 2 is 10, plus 6 is 16. So on both sides of the equation, the value is 16. Okay, look for more videos and more examples.